Hey everybody, welcome to 8.4. Uh, we're still in unit 8 where we're multiplying fractions and 8.4 is where we're taking, uh, we're taking our fraction, multiplying to the next level. We were multiplying uh, fractions by whole numbers and now we're going to be multiplying fractions times fractions, okay? And uh, it's important for us to remember that when we're doing this that uh, we can kind of relabel this uh, multiply, uh, our multiplication symbol can almost say as of. So like I want one fourth of two or I can I want one fourth of one fifth. All right. And that's going to kind of frame it in a certain way that's going to be slightly helpful as we go forward. So taking a look first at our convince me right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do that over here. We're going to take we want it says find one fourth uh, times one fifth using the model and explain your work. Okay. So Whenever we do this, whenever we're multiplying, uh, at first, the way I want you thinking about it is I want you thinking about uh, a square. You can think about the panel lasagna like in the example earlier. You can think about something um, in a rectangular shape, okay? It's going to help us do this. And uh, so what, what we have here is we have our model. Now, I'm going to draw my own model. We can use this one ultimately, though. But it says find one-fourth times one-fifth. So we're going to take this uh, one-fourth, uh, and we want one-fourth of uh, one fifth. So let's let's make fifths first. Um, we're going to make fifths. One fourth of one fifth. Let's make fifths. So uh, in order to make fifths or turn this into fifths, I have to draw four lines. Okay, so I'm going to draw four lines. One. I'll try and make them even. Two, three, and four. Okay. So I turn this rectangular and I have fifths. You can see that I have one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths here. Okay. So fifths. And I want uh, I want one of those fifths. So I'm going to just shade this guy. Okay going down. I'm just going to shade them. And I have one fifth. Cool. So we can do that on, on our model over here if we wanted to. It's the same kind of thing. They've already done it for us. Uh, we're just double shading this as one fifth. Okay. You see it's one, two, three, four. It's fives. Okay. And then uh, we have to do, now we want one fourth of this fifth. I'm going to choose a different color to make this obvious. I want, this is my one fifth. I want one fourth of that. So that means I have to divide my fifth into four fourths. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go about dividing the whole thing. I'm going to do fourths going the other way. And if I want to make fourths, I have to draw three lines. The good way to do fourths is to do one down the middle and then just divide that in half and divide that in half. Cool. And I want, I'm going to shade in one fourth. So I'm going to go this way, kind of the opposite way to the side like that. Cool. And now what I'm looking for is ultimately I'm looking for this double shaded zone right here. I want this one right here. Um, and that's the one that's double shaded. That is, if you look at this, I had my one fifth and I've added my one fifth into fourth. So, so I have one, two, three, four pieces. I took one fourth of that one fifth. Okay. That's what this is. So this is one fourth here. And I have one fourth of my one fifth. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we, we had, that's only one piece. There's only one piece there. So that's going to be my numerator. And my denominator is going to be, well, how many pieces did I cut the whole thing into now? Let's count that up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 ths. So now I have 20 ths, and ultimately I want one of those little pieces, okay? And so that's what we've done up here is we've shaded this here this way and this is our double piece um, what we've done is we've taken if I, if I can review this real fast we've taken our our whole rectangle we split it up into one-fifths so I had my one-fifth here and then I took one-fourth of that one-fifth and that ultimately was one twentieth okay and I got I got my product of one twentieth okay so um, when we're doing that we're going to remember this rectangular model and that's going to be helpful to us uh, as as we go forward on this okay uh, another example that we can think about is using a number line and on this number line it says find two-thirds of three-fourths or two-thirds times three-fourths here's our three-fourths from here to here and uh, one-third so it, we're saying divided into thirds well it's three equal parts there's one there's three equal parts here there's one third, there's one third, there's one third. And uh, if we take two thirds of that, we jump ahead two, two of those, and it's actually sitting at one half. It's just another way, uh, another way to look at this. So um, I'm going to jump all the way down here to our, um, to our guided practice. And I want to take a look. We're going to use the model on box C. We're going to create our own box C to do two thirds times two fourths. So I want two thirds times two-fourths, or two-thirds of two-fourths. Uh, I'm going to make my rectangle, 
And uh, I'm going to make, I'm going to use the second number in my expression here. I'm going to make two fourths. So I need to make fourths. So I'm going to split this into four pieces first. And I'm going to shade in two of them. That's one. That's two. Two fourths. Awesome. And then uh, I'm going to do, I want two thirds of that. So I'm going to do thirds. I'm going to do thirds the other way. Okay? Two thirds the other way. So I'm going to draw two lines. And I'm going to shade two of those. So these ones and these ones. Awesome. And the double shaded ones are the ones that I want. These ones right here. Those ones. And uh, those are double shaded. How many are double shaded? There's one, two, three, four of them. And uh, how many boxes total did I make? How many pieces did I divide this whole grid up into? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four. Twelfths. You see that? Four out of twelve pieces now. Uh, I had my original piece here. I cut it into pieces. Okay, cool. Um, create a story problem for two-thirds or two-fourths. I could say something like, uh, that's this here. Create a story problem. Um, I could say something like, uh, Owen has uh, two-fourths, a pan of brownies. If he gives two thirds of that pan, he gives give two thirds of them to Anthony. How many does he actually give him? What fraction does he give him? And that would be this point right here, this section right here. This is what he cuts off to give to his friend Anthony. Okay. All right, uh, I want to solve one more for you here in this video while I still have time. So let's come right here and let's do number four. Find three-fourths of four-ninths. Remember, that's like saying three-fourths times four-ninths. Got my rectangle. I got to split this up into ninths. I'm going to draw eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight lines, and I want four of those. This is going to be right here. This is going to be this section right here. This is four ninths, okay? Ultimately, it doesn't matter which way I which way I go. I could go. Uh, I could draw this little lines going this way if I wanted to. It doesn't really matter as long as I do them both different than each other. And I want three fourths of that four ninths. So three fourths of it. I've got to divide this. I'm going to use a different color to make it obvious here. I divide it into four. So. Three lines, three lines to make fourths. And uh, I want three of those, so I'm going to choose these three right here. And that would be three fourths. There's three fourths. It's this, this, and this, but not that, right? The ones that are going to be double shaded are obvious to see. They're right here. These guys are double shaded. Okay, so how many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. And I hope that's obvious enough. Let me make bigger dots so you can see them. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 total dots there that I chose. All right? So that's going to be 12. That's my numerator. My denominator is going to be how many pieces did I cut the whole thing into? Uh, well, if it's 1, 2, 3, 4, it's a 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's a 4 by 9. That's 4 times 9. 4 times 9 is 36. That's 12 36 Now, I can, I can do something with both of these. Um, I can count by 12s to get to, to both of those if I wanted to. 12, 24, 36. So um, I could do that. I could say, well, 12, that's 1. And 12, 24, 36, that would be thirds. If I really wanted to, I could cut them both in half because they're both even numbers. So 12 cut in half is 6. And 36 cut in half would be uh, 18. And now I can cut both of those in half. I could say that's 3, uh, three ninths. And uh, I, can, I can't cut those in half, but I can count by threes. So that would be 1 third. That's just another way to reduce it all the way down. Either way, I know I can reduce it, and I get a product of 1 third. Okay, so... Um,
we're using models. Tomorrow, we're just going to straight up and figure out, you know, hey, oh, wait, we can multiply. We don't actually have to do the modeling. But the modeling is smart for you to see how this all works and goes down and what it actually represents and understands. Understand that when you're doing this, you're saying like two thirds of one twelfth. Well, you got to make one twelfth, right? And this part here is right, this is one twelfth. And now I want two thirds of that. So I'm going to have to do like, oh, cool, well, I want two of those thirds. I just want those right there. Cool. And I'm going to double shade those in. And I want one, two out of how many did I just create? It would be two out of 36 that are total pieces right there. And that's my fraction. So um, we're, we got some pat we have some strategies to deal with it. Hopefully the, the squaring off thing makes sense. The rectangle shading makes sense. And try that out for size and see if it doesn't help you. And, uh, and, and we'll move on from there. All right. You're doing fantastic. Keep it up.